Cine? Einstein, yes. Și el a fost un geniu. Asta e alt geniu, yes. Composer and pianist. He was born on December 17, 1770, and he died on March 26, 1827, from Germany. Uh, Ludwig van Beethoven will be presented to you in a kind of free speech by Victor Butocaro. Uh, Victor is in the fifth grade at Arts College, Baku. He studies piano and he is very good. Uh, and uh, a clarinet. Yes. Uh, the second instrument is clarinet. Okay. But he is a genius in piano. Yeah, you'll see. Actually, no, I spoiled the surprise. Yes. So he chose to talk to you about Ludwig van Beethoven. Yes. Thank you. Neighbors said that they would often see a small boy being pushed up to a piano by his father and that the boy would cry as he was forced to play. They said the boy was so small he had to stand on a stool to reach the keys. The boy was beaten by his father, locked in a basement and stopped from sleeping. Even when he was so tired he could barely keep his eyes open. At school things weren't much better. The boy had dyslexia, that means he struggled with words. For him, music came always more much easily and, despite the hair treatment from his father, he couldn't wait to get back and lose himself in it. The boy got older and became a man. He learned music every day, hardly lifting his hands off the piano. Even as an adult, though, he was so shy it hurt, and the shyness kept him from ever getting married or having children. One day, the man discovered that he was going deaf. It threw him into a deep, dark sadness. How would he compose music if he couldn't hear? And what would he do if he couldn't compose music? Amazingly, even when he lost his hearing completely, the man carried on writing music. In fact, he composed some of his most beautiful music without being able to hear at all. The boy that cried onto the piano and the man that he became was named Ludwig von Beethoven and he's considered by many people to be the greatest composer who ever lived. Favorite. So I'm very happy uh, that Victor chose to talk to you about Ludwig van Beethoven. 